Alright, so I'm at school working on this boring operation because this, uh, this couple of ASP parts um, don't have the same internal diameter. This extension piece had a one inch diameter, but we needed to be an inch and an eighth like this part. Now I have it mounted in the chuck with pretty much out any protection because I have gripped it pretty much exactly where the grips bolt onto, so you won't see any marks at all. So right now, we are pretty close. Um, this isn't quite the diameter we need, and so I'm still working on the boring operations, but we have everything pretty much set up. And, alright, so I'm going to take another, I'm taking 10 thou passes at a time now. There's about 10 thou. Then we're going to squirt a little WD-40 in there and just, boop, just a little squirt. What's up, man? Am I good? To, am I good? Oh, yeah. Okay. I just want to be afraid of your Wrong way. Alright, let's let her rip. Hand on the lever. Very smooth cut. Now what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to turn off the machine right about here. Stop it. I'm going to crank the auto feed in the other way. I'm going to turn it back on. It's going to come right back out. And that's that's going to uh, take into account any slight taper that we have from tool flex. So as it pulls out, it'll correct the slight taper. We'll get a perfect bore. I'm going to wait for it to pull all the way out and we'll see how we're doing. Going nice and slow too. Feet off. All right. Nice, clean. Ooh, we're so close. I'm gonna take a few more ten thou passes until we make contact in the other, and we're gonna call it good because we're not really going for a precision here. We're just going for clearance. So, anyways, guys, keep on lathing.